Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear y'all float, sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Yuni Ani, and I'm finally back with Best of 2022. And I'm a little bit late, you know, compared to the other Best of 22, 22, 2022, you, whatever, you, you know the drill. I'm a little bit late compared to the other friends that, on the internet, and I'm sorry. It was really hard for me to actually choose the Best of 2022. Some categories, it was like easy peasy, but others I had to think forever, like, which did I which product did I love? Like, which product did I use the most? Because I do test a lot of products in between and there's freaking four seasons in Korea, you know? So I always switch them up. So I will be talking about the products that I feel like is the best that I use the most on camera and off camera as well. All right, I'm gonna shush up. We have a lot of products to get through, so let's get started. All right, first things first, this is a mascara remover. This is the Kiss Me Heroin Speedy Mascara Remover. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how many tubs I've used and I buy this over and over again on Yes Style and I always stack them up. I've tried different ones this year. I tried the Clio one and things like that, but it's not as good as this. It looks fancier and Clio one feels like better, like the quality of it, but it just does not do this one's justice like this is so amazing there's so much ample that goes up in like that one stripe and you just use it as like a mascara and you apply it and then you use your lip and eye remover or you can just go ahead and move on to your cleansing oil or cleansing balm or whatever so it's totally up to you but one of my biggest pet peeve is actually rubbing my eyes like with oil like with with the dried like crusted you know what i'm saying like Oh, I hate this feeling where I have to rub my eyes when this is all like crusty and hard and things like that. So after using this, it's just so easy. It's soft and I feel like it makes my life easier. Once I've added this into my routine, never again will I take it out. So this is something I want to highly recommend, especially if you have delicate eyes. This is so nice, you guys. Trying this, this really works. And with cleansers, it was really hard to choose because I felt like there's so many good cleansing balms, like first cleansers. There's so many good second cleansers these days. Most of the cleansers, it's good. And cleansers are the cheapest compared to other category of skincare products. So usually that's the, like, you know, that's the one category that we'll switch up each time we'll we'll kind of be brave and try this and try that you know so i think that's why i've tested so many but i felt like um the first cleanser that i loved the most this year was the banyonara pure cleansing oil this is perfect when you have a lot of makeup on and even when you have little makeup on just up to your sunscreen it's just perfect there's a reason why there's a really high rate of uh, repurchase rate for this product the texture itself is very gunky when you first squeeze it out um and, but after you massage everything everything melts down really nicely and then within your first splash you're like ah you know you're like okay i get it i'll see you just the one or two splashes you're you feel like you're already done with the emulsification and everything so i love this it does its job it removes makeup easily it removes everything all the gunk easily and um yeah this is something that i repurchased recently again through um coupon if you're in korea i mean you Sometimes you just gotta get your skincare products on coupon because fast delivery comes next morning, like before, like right at like 7 a.m. Love it. The prices are really good if you search for certain things. So my unicorns that are in Korea, sometimes you gotta check your skincare products on coupon. But anyway, so this was my number one this year. All right, for second cleansers, once again, very difficult category to choose from. I had to like squeeze my brains out. I had to check my empties like back to see like which product I use the most. And I loved this. This is Haine Rosemary Relief Gel Cleanser. I love rosemary. Like I loved rosemary before, but recently I bought rosemary because I was like filming something for like a different brand. And then I was like, <gasps> rosemary smells freaking good like the natural rosemary i'm like i was so surprised of how strong that scent is this cleanser when you use it it's so like 
you could smell it and i think every time every like for my night routine i loved that like the first pump i get after my first cleanser it was so therapeutical of just using this i used it all over my body this is a really good one for acne prone sensitive skin so i felt like this is perfect for all four seasons however it's not the most hydrating cleanser it's actually if you compare it to the really hydrating ones it's more to the like kind of squeaky clean side it's not squeaky clean but it's like right smack in the middle so i loved using this for all four seasons but especially more towards summertime or springtime warmer weather but this is so nice if you have acne prone skin too please do check it out it has small amounts of bha i believe so for gentle exfoliation it was perfect so this one kaine not k i keep on saying k kaine i love you this is a great cleanser all right guys so before we move on let's talk about the most bought kit in 2022 that i bought with my own money through amazon okay all right so this part of the video is sponsored but none of my best of 2022 products are sponsored okay so this little portion is sponsored now this kit is something that i bought with my own money and i sent it to a bunch of my friends my closest friends in uh the states and for their moms so this set is the bone extra moisture skincare set uh from studio han and you've probably seen this a lot on my reels and i did an amazon live with them as well so you probably have seen me talk about this a lot and um studio han actually focuses on hanbang ingredients and ginseng extracts which i personally feel like in 2023 it will be like one of the things that will be trending still in k-beauty a lot of different brands i think will continue to use ginseng and a lot of hanbang ingredients hanbang skincare is usually traditional herbal medicine methods and in this kit you have carefully extracted ginseng extracts stems and leaves uh, with shudan's like special exclusive extraction technology and they also have the herbal complex and oriental medicinal herbs so this gift set from studio han would be a perfect gift set for anyone, for yourself, for your mom, for your friends, fellow skincare lovers, especially true fans of traditional ingredients in K-beauty. So I feel like whoever gets this set will just love you and give you a big old kiss because it just is so nice. Overall, like presentation of the boxes, of the packaging and everything is so beautiful. Let me show you what's in the set. You have the Bone Extra Moisture Skin Toner in the full size and then you have the Bone Extra Moisture Emulsion Lotion. You have it in small sizes right here and then you have the firming eye cream and then you have the extra moisture cream which has a thicker texture compared to the lotion and then you have the uh, cleansing foam right here the main products are these two this is the uh, bone extra moisture toner it has a very viscous texture and it just made my skin so plumped and moisturized i loved this one and then we also have the bone extra moisture emulsion lotion this is an emulsion but you will be surprised of how freaking moisturizing it is. I was really surprised. Even though it has such a like emulsion-y texture, it keeps my skin so moisturized throughout the whole day, especially through this dry ass cold. Oh my gosh, today was like, I thought literally like something was going to happen to my fingers because I forgot to wear gloves and oh just imagining it is so cold you guys anyways through this coldness through the dryness uh because of the heaters and everything this just kept my skin so nice and moisturized this is so different compared to any other emulsions i've tried so the texture itself is light but it's just very rich you can tell that there's a lot of oils in here so your skin just looks so nice afterwards i feel like this will be such a great gift and my friends sent me cacao messages and messages from their parents that they loved it so this is definitely something you should check out i have my discount code for you guys right here this is actually for all sudoan products available on amazon us so please do check it out okay ladies and gentlemen now that the sponsor part is over these products none of them are sponsored the ones that i'm talking about from the best of 2022 now let me talk about the toner this was the most difficult and challenging category for me to figure out the reason i was like why can i freaking think about a good toner or the toner that i love the most in 2022 the reason is because of freaking toner pads because i love toner pads and i use them so much in the step of toners that's why i really couldn't really come up with a really good toner that i love the most and as i was thinking this is the one that i use the most off camera this one reminds you of laneige cream refiner but 
without the oiliness. Now, I didn't even say what this was. Let me tell you what this is. This is Oxygen Suticles Nutrient Toner. Oxygen Suticles is a brand that you can find in a lot of different skincare clinics. So they do even make like skincare devices itself. They make so many like big sized skincare products that they ship to the clinics, dermatologists. You can see it in a lot of spas and clinics in Korea and globally as well. So this toner is so moisturizing. It's very like viscous, it's perfect. It's like the cream refiner, but without the oiliness. I love Laneige cream refiner. Like, don't get me wrong, I love rich products and oils and stuff like that. But from my toner step, I want something refreshing, you know? So this one is so nice. It's gentle, but I feel like it's very nourishing without any uncomfortable feeling that you're gonna get. But this is uh, something that feels a little bit thick, but it feels comfortable afterward. I loved it for all four seasons. I loved it for all different skin concerns. I feel like for dry skin and for mature skin, this is amazing. Or even uh, dehydrated oily skin that doesn't like oily, like rich feeling of the product. This will be a good one. Now let's move on to toner pads. This category was hard for me to choose because I loved so many. Like because I've tried so many different toner pads this year, plus because they are so good. And this is actually definitely one of the categories that all brands are coming out with. Usually with toner pads, they're very similar. Like the biggest like difference would be like the size of the pad, how moisturizing it would be, if the ingredients itself contains exfoliating ingredients or if it's more for calming, like realistic things like is the packaging sturdy? Is it easy? Does it come with like a spatula? What Whatever. But for me, I really love toner pads as DIY sheet masks. This is the It Skin Power 10 Formula Lye Jelly Pad Firefighter. Like the name itself, it's like firefighter, but it's so amazing for calming. You know how some, they do have like embossed sides, so that's good for removing dead skin cells and that's like your first step to give you that clean canvas. But this is more for like a DIY sheet mask, I would say. It's so soft. It sticks onto your skin so well. You can't even see the little thingies, huh? I just love how soft it is, how light it is, how well it sticks onto my skin. And I just love this one so much. And as I mentioned, I was looking at my empties and this one was the one that I loved the most and used the most off camera. All right, so let's move on to exfoliators. This year is the year that I actually was the most like adventurous with different types of exfoliating products. Usually I have acne prone sensitive skin, so I stick with a lot of enzyme powder washes. But this year I felt like my skin has become more mature, <laughs> which uh, I can feel more dead skin cells. I feel like, especially during the winter, my metabolism like goes down a little bit and the turnover cycle like slows down even more. So some people feel more dead skin cells during the summertime, but I felt like for my skin especially, I feel it more during the winter time. So I felt like I've used a lot of peeling gels. And I've also tried a lot of different products with chemical exfoliating ingredients, which usually I wouldn't do, but this one I loved. This is the Isn't Tree Chestnut BHA 2% Clear Liquid. Uh, I added this uh, with Sue in our Uni Sue box because it was so amazing. It's a, just a very light, refreshing toner, but it does contain 2% of BHA. And usually these kind of products, like with the BioStrip Manzali 5% uh, Skin Purple Water, I love that. But sometimes when I have a little bit of irritation somewhere, it stings. So usually with that, I have to use a toner and then I have to use that. Or if my skin is really irritated, I would not use that. But this, I felt like, felt a little bit more gentle on my skin. And I loved it. It worked beautiful. And I have combination skin. I have concerns of pores and very oily skin on this area, which this product helped so much with. So I love this. So this is a good one. Um, and I felt like this is the exfoliator that I love the most. All right, guys, so I got the product and I feel like in 2023, this serum's ingredient will continue becoming more popular. I have a feeling in 2023, like retinol products are gonna start coming out more in K-Beauty and also Bakuchil products. We talked about this, that Bakuchil products are gonna be trending in 2022 and it did. And I feel like it's gonna continue to do it in 2023. Now, this is one of my favorite products. I would say I could tell that this is like the best anti-aging serum or plumping serum, 
but it doesn't give you any ir like irritants like I mean I, I can't say that because you know I can't speak for everybody but for me you know I'm like the queen of skin sensitivity but I love this I find myself reaching for this in any type of like skin concern I might have when my skin especially looks a little bit of like it looks kind of saggy and dull and you know like it's not feeling good I I just found myself adding this back into my routine. I've used more than five this year and I love this one. This is the Neogen Real Bakuchil Firming Serum. You're gonna love this. It just has a very viscous texture, light, refreshing, but I think when you continuously use this, you really see your skin like plucked. This is something that I can proudly say that I use the most in 2022 and I want to highly recommend this one. All right, so we're going to move on to the creams, right? And this was really hard. Okay, so I have a lot. I know this is cheating and I know I'm not, I'm supposed to only introduce you to one, okay? But it was hard. It was hard because like I said, there's four seasons in Korea, man. So we do have to switch up our moisturizers. All right, so I'm going to talk about this one first. I've probably mentioned it a lot on my channel, especially for acne prone skin and for oily skin types. And it is the Medicube Red Cream. This one is the OG. And recently I tried their new product and this is a little bit different. There was definitely an upgrade because the texture packaging itself is different. This is more, the new one is lighter. It's more plasticky. This one was more like hard, more glass. It looks like it got bigger, but the size is the same. You have 50 milliliters and the texture has improved. Now the new texture is really nice. Like any other moisturizer, it just soaks in really easily. Look at that. Yeah, so compared to the old version, I would say it soaks in so much faster and it's really nice, but it still is so amazing for acne prone skin, especially if you have oily skin type, acne prone, if you have inflammations around this area, I think you guys will love this. For me, this is the cream that I used the most in 2022 around the T-zone. And then I would say, for the cream that I used the most was just this one, OG. I know it's boring, it's simple because everybody is like sick of me talking about this, but this is good, you know? Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is like an OG product, but it works. And this is amazing, especially if you have sensitive skin like myself. And you guys agree with me, right? Like the people who love this, I know y'all gotta stock up on this one. I'm someone that always, you know, there are certain products that you always have to stock up on, and this is one of those products. And especially if you have um, little cuts from shaving or things like that, this is so good, you guys. It contains guaya zulin, which is an amazing ingredient for healing and for recovery. Like in burn ointments, they do have guaya zulin, like the ingredients, you know, the, probably the like, Percentage is a little bit different, but anyway, so this is such an amazing cream, especially for, I feel like for all seasons, it does have a little bit of a gunky texture, but it's just blue and beautiful and you're gonna love this. And I love this. So this is something that I did use the most. A lot of times I felt like this year, my skin was very irritated and it wasn't at its best state many times. I don't know why, but in my memory, it wasn't that good. So this is something that I did reach out to like again. Now, I wanted to talk about one more product because this is a newest discovery. Now, if you have extremely dry skin, I think you're gonna love this. The only thing is it's kind of expensive. It's more uh, expensive compared to the other products that I usually talk about. So this is called the Saga of Sue. This is actually a brand that's within Suryo Han and this is not sponsored, but I wanted to talk about this because there was a kit actually. Um, and this was the main product, the botanical cream. And I loved this one. This is rich. This is very thick. And if you have dry, mature skin, I think you will love this. There's definitely like a flowery scent to this. And I just, feel like this was the best cream for me for the dry parts for the winter because this feels like a balm almost. It's really thick. Look at that. Ooh, it almost even feels like a massage cream. It's that thick. I think for those of you that feel like you have really dry mature skin at the moment and none of the creams really work for you, 
This is so amazing. This cream, I will um, leave all the links for this one too. It is a little bit more pricey. I will try to come up with another alternative. I'm planning to do a video for really dry, like mature skin. So stay tuned in for that if you do have those concerns, but this is something to definitely look out for. Loved this one. Okay, so now we have the balm, sunscreen, sheet mask, and my favorite device. So let's move on. The balm, it has to be the Kahi balm. This was also a year of 2022 that every brand came out with a bomb. This one, Kahi, just took it by the storm. You would see it in so many different Kate beauty dramas. There's a lot of content that says, is it worth it or not? I feel like this was like the representative of bombs. And then a lot of different bombs did come like that's more affordable and things like that. This is a little bit pricey, but I feel like once again, if you have really dry, mature skin, you're gonna love this. And this was just kind of easy for me to use because it's in a balm type. Let's say I don't wanna like go wash my hands again. I would just um, like put it by my bedside. I could put it in my purse. I could put it anywhere I want. It's so small, compact, and you can reapply. And it was just really nice. It does have a very, very kind of oily feeling, but I think once you kind of soak it in with your hands, then it's okay. It, it, it's all right, you know? But if you don't like that, I don't think you're gonna like this. But for me, I loved applying it like on my neck. I loved applying it around the eye area. Like this is a product that my, like my emo used, my on spot from Olive Young. They like stocked up on this product. And I felt like this is something that took Korea by storm, you know, uh, and, and globally too. I think a lot of people really did love this. For me, I feel like uh, it's something that made my life much easier and that my skin loved. So, and you can use this actually on your lips and anywhere else too. It's, so it's whatever you need. This balm can be used for whatever, that extra oil and moisture. So yeah, this one, definitely was my number one in 2022. Now, sunscreen. This was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the controversy with some of the Korean products of the SPF levels and things like that, I think a lot of, there was like a revamp of everything. And afterwards, so many different um, brands came out with new sunscreens, right? And they were good, man. It was really hard for me to choose. Um, but this is something that holds a very uh, special place in my heart. I've never like personally like met the formulator of a product. Like I don't think I've had a chance of like going to the research center and like seeing it for the first time and things like that. And this is actually a product from Biowish Trends. Um, it's called a UV Defense Moist Cream. This one was a collaboration uh, with Amore Pacific RNI Center. So this is very, very special. Actually, that Amore Pacific uh, RNI Center is the place that uh, made the first Korean sunscreen ever in Korea too. So it has long history and it was so cool. I got to go because I'm a host for Wishtrend TV. Now, you guys, let me clarify something. Someone left a comment that like, said I talk about a lot of Wish Trend products uh, because I get paid for it. I don't get paid to talk about my Wish Trend products and Claire's and stuff on my personal channel. I wish I did, you know, call out your girl, but I'm a host for Wish Trend TV. So of course I get more access to the products because they do send uh, products for me. And like with this product, I was um, one of the hosts with uh, Medi for a program they had for to push this product on Wish Trend TV channel. So I was like the intern for by was trend or something that was like the concept so we got to meet the formulator and things like that so i wanted to clarify if i am getting paid i will leave it in the description below but any cowsies that was a little bit off topic but what i wanted to tell you is that i really got to hear about this product uh, from the formulator and i got to test this product really use it and um I love how moisturizing it is. It has large amounts of pentanol. And I don't know if it's thanks to that, but I feel like compared to other sunscreens, just this felt so gentle on my skin. And yeah, it just worked. And the finish itself is not too dewy. I like dewy sunscreens to clarify, but this one, it wasn't too dewy. So I think for those of you that's looking for something that's moisturizing without a white cast, but you want something that has like a not dewy finish, this is great. When you first pump it out, you're gonna be like, oh shoot, this is like, this has a white cast. It seems like it does. It seems really gunky, but once you melt it down, like not two, three swipes, you have to do it like, eight 
nine, then it's beautiful. The finish is nice. Your skin feels so moisturizing. One con though is that it peels, especially when you wear masks. That's one con that I didn't like, but I just love how it makes my skin feel throughout the whole day. Um, and I love that it's not too dewy either. So I, I chose this and I used this the most. All right, so sheet mask was another category that was very, very, very easy for me because I love this. With sheet masks, they're very, very similar, you know? But this one is something that when I have a very important date or I have a very important filming day, I use this. This is good. Uh, this is the number three Tingle Pore Softening. I've talked about this sheet mask so many times on my Olive Young series. It is so good. It, your skin glows afterwards. You're gonna love it. But like the name itself, it has a tingling sensation. I think when your skin is sensitized, it's better not to use this because it does have like a little bit of tingling sensation. I can't feel it any elsewhere except for like the most sensitive areas like around the mustache area, but it's not something that lasts for a long period of time. It's just like a little tingle. And um, that's a very natural thing I wanted to let you know, but your skin looks more brightened. Your pores look less visible and your just skin looks so good afterwards. And I feel like the next day when you wake up and you wash your face, like your skin is like ready for that makeup. Everything goes on flawlessly too. So this one actually was like, easy for me to choose. Okay, so with devices, this one was a no-brainer. I actually don't have the product with me right now because I gave it to my sister-in-law. I gave her the Ulcera one. I gave her the ATS uh, one that I love the most from Medicube. So for me, the ATS device was my number one. If you have pore concerns, I will wanna highly recommend that you invest in that device. I know that with devices, it's really tricky because first of all, you don't know if it's gonna really work for you. and even if it works well for me, like, is it gonna work well for you, right? So those are the questions, definitely. And this is not like a sheet mask, you know? It's not like just $3 that you can be like, oh, it didn't work for me. It's like, it's expensive. You're like, dude, I invested my money in this, you know? Like, it better work. And another thing is once you buy the device, sometimes you get lazy and you don't use it. Now there's no point with that. I, I feel you on that, but it's just that sucks. Then you wasted so much money on that. So when you, when you get the device, you have to use it together. Okay. Like you have to use it. You have to make the most out of it. You gotta, you gotta use it up. But that one is so good for, um, poor care. This works as a micro needling device and you can't really feel anything except there's like a little zap in between. But overall, I feel like this is a device that I saw really good results. It's hard to see results with poor care, you know what I'm saying? So I actually tested this device out for a long period of time. So you guys can actually check out my video. That will be more convincing. For me, honestly, uh, the Ulcera one and the ATS shot one was the devices that I used the most this year and I've seen the most results with. And I wanna highly recommend the ATS shot. I feel like a lot of people really do have poor concerns and even with just products alone sometimes, it's just not enough. You just kind of want that extra help. I feel like this is a device that can do that. So yeah, this is something my number one device that I do want to recommend for 2022. All right, guys, so that was the best of 2022. Now let's talk a little bit about 2023. Now there are uh, certain products that Yes Style sent me and um, they've done their research and their predictions on 2023 on like what ingredients will be popular and things like that. So I will talk about that in a little bit, but I wanted to actually share my opinion as well. Uh, I did my little notes. I personally feel like a lot of body care products and hair care products are gonna continue to rise in the K-beauty industry. There's so many different brands that's coming out with body care products and hair care products. And I know that they also have plans for new launches as well. Uh, I think this is because now we're more aware of the products that we use. and. Uh, I don't know if you were like me, but I think back in the days, I was like more focused and I was willing to invest more money on the things that I used for my face and for body, I used like any type of product, you know, and things like that, but it's really different now. So I feel like a lot of good hair products will continue rising and brands are gonna come out with new hair care products and body care products. Now, another thing that I see rising a lot in the States or in or globally overseas, maybe this is a category that was already popular Popular. In K-Beauty, there were not a lot of fragrance products. I feel like a lot of fragrance 
products will start launching maybe even some in the skincare brands they're gonna start launching like fragrance lines and stuff like that but i think brands like non-fiction um is just so amazing that's one of the brands that uh, i'm definitely keeping an eye out for i feel like they have fragrance of course they have body products but it is something that is becoming really popular in korea and people are noticing and really liking so i think a lot of uh new brands that's focused on fragrance are gonna launch in korea too and of course globally uh, but in k-beauty i feel like that's gonna become or continue to become like one of the next big things another thing that i feel like is going to continue to become big is devices this is something that is for a fact a lot of different brands are coming out with new devices and one of the things is that technology is advancing so there are more amazing devices that you can be uh, using at home to see better results. Of course, these may be a little bit more pricey compared to our skincare products, but I feel like if you really find the good ones, it will really help you. And if you're diligent with it, it will help you. So I feel like this is something, another thing that's gonna continue to grow. What else did I write? Mm. One of the things that I wanna continue sharing on my channel in 2023 is skincare procedures too. I feel like as I get older, and now I'm 37, there are certain things, especially with lifting procedures, with anti-aging procedures, with skin elasticity, uh, with wrinkle care and things like that there's so much more than just skincare and i feel like um, at times it's it's totally up to you if you make the choices to get like uh, other skincare lifting lasers or other procedures that you want to get so i feel like that's like a really fun topic to talk about and to know you know what's out there and what's the best hospitals for different procedures so I think this is something that I'm going to be focusing in 2023 as well because I get a lot of DMs um, that a lot of my uh, unicorns ask me like, oh, nee, uh, which like skincare clinic do you want me to do you want to recommend for this kind of concern or that kind of concern? And sometimes it's hard to say because they're not foreigner friendly, meaning that there's no one that speaks fluent English. So I always think like, oh my gosh, for this concern, I think this is the best, but I don't know how to connect them because um, I wish I could like do the translation for you guys, but that's not realistically, that's not the wisest choice for, you know, all of my unicorns. So I will try to find more services. I will try to find more places and hospitals that is really good at specific procedures that they do and that that can speak English or that can provide that service for you. So that's one of the things I really want to do um, of trying to make your trip a much better trip. You know what I'm saying? Skincare wise, like I want you to be able to get all the good procedures here while you visit Korea. So that's one of the things that I've been planning in 2023. And another thing that I see a lot in K-beauty is inner beauty. There's a lot of collagen supplements coming out. There's a lot of supplements that help with sleeping. Um, yeah, a lot of big brands like Amore Pacific, they're coming out with supplements for that as well. So I think that's kind of like, if I think about it, I. It, that means that there's needs for that. A lot of people are having trouble sleeping, you know? But yeah, that is something that I've been seeing a lot in the like Korean market. With ingredients, now these are three ingredients that Yes Style mentioned. They said that niacinamide, bakuchil, and ceramides will take the center stage in 2023. Let me share with you like what I agree with or like what I like don't agree with and things like that. I that would be kind of fun. Um, ceramides, uh, definitely. I feel like there's so many different brands coming out with ceramides line again and with like new products from the line. And I think it's not just ceramides, but something that will help with the regeneration of our skin so calming ingredients too like i think in k-beauty industry um like mugworth heart leaf everything's gonna continue to be here in korea a lot of people do have concerns mostly with skin sensitivity so i feel like that's one of the things that's gonna continue to be big in 2023 like um to make your skin stronger and healthier ceramides maybe a lot of ingredients for calming and things like that so that is one thing they also did mention niacinamide and bakuchi as I mentioned, I loved the Neogen Bakuchio Serum. Bakuchio, I feel like, will be something that's going to continue to grow. It started around 2022. 
2023, I think it's gonna to continue to grow. I feel like a lot of Korean brands are coming out with retinol products. So that's something that's big too. And definitely niacinamide. That's one of the concerns that everybody has and will continue to have uh, for uneven skin tone, um, for dark circles, for dark spots, for sunspots and hyperpigmentation, you know? so. I personally, what I would love is to see more of great products that focus on brightening care, but that is still gentle enough for skin people like me that I can use every single day. Hopefully there can be new ingredients or there can be like better formulations or something like that. So I'm really excited to try out new. I'm trying to keep my mind and heart open about that for brightening ingredients because I am like a little scary cat when it comes to strong actives and stuff. So those three ingredients were the ingredients that YesStyle predicted to be big in 2023. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna be sharing with you six serums with these ingredients that yes style sent over all right so first we have the serum my best of 2022 uh, i chose this as the best serum uh this is the neogen dermology real bakuchiel firming serum it's a refreshing and hydrating serum with natural anti-aging ingredient bakuchiel now it just creates this firm smooth and radiant skin and it does have other botanical ingredients for skin calming and moisturizing it's great to use for both day and night routine you're gonna love this one and then we have Perito Bakuchil timeless bloom revitalizing serum I personally really like this one too it just has like a funky smell though so I, I'm just like not used to that each time I use it I'm like ooh it's kind of funky but it is a vegan and cruelty free serum formulated with 10,000 ppm of Bakuchil to improve appearance of signs of aging. It also helps to reduce fine lines and regain skin resilience. Now, this is a cult favorite, Dr. Jart Ceramidin Serum. It's powered by five different kinds of ceramide complexes. It uh, helps to restore hydration for your skin. It protects against water loss. This serum is just amazing to strengthen your skin barrier. And then we have the Holika Holika Good Sera um, Super Ceramide Cream in Serum. This is something that I saw on Su in her Instagram, I was like, ooh, this looks good. And when she says something is really good and she raves about it, most 90% of the time, it suits my skin really well. So I wanted to try this right away. And this was so good. This is like a nourishing cream that combines serum and a cream in one product. So if you're lazy like me, it's very nice. It's just really simple. And it offers premium moisturizing effects so your skin just feels so bomb afterwards. Um, this also helps to prevent moisture loss and um, it just, your skin feels really nice. If your skin is feeling dehydrated or damaged, this is such a great cream to add into your routine. So this one is called Kos De Baja and Niacinamide 10 Serum Jumbo. It's infused with 10% of niacinamide. This serum reduces pore size and it's supposed to help with appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots and evening out your uneven skin tone. And then we have our Cosarex The Niacinamide 15 Serum. This was also something that launched in 2022. This is a high intensity solution with 15% niacinamide that targets acne at all stages from exfoliating skin and soothing acne to effectively control sebum and it helps to tighten pores as well. Yes Style did give me a discount code right here for you guys to check out and I will leave the link in the description below. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope that you guys enjoyed my best of 2022 and I'm so excited for 2023 and what it's gonna offer us. Anyways, I will leave all the details in the description below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye my unicorns! Happy New Year!